everybody. Um, it's Peter from uh, Walking Tennis Association and carrying on with our push pattern. So the push pattern, uh, another push pattern is a partner related uh, uh, push pattern which starts to integrate this pushing but also think about being connected to the floor. You would normally do this with a partner but we're just going to use the wall in this case to meet my resistance. So with your partner you'll be you will have your arm up and you will have hand to hand, elbow to elbow. And from this position here, again, inhaling, exhale, engage pelvic floor. Think about your alignment. Don't flare the ribs. Pin tucked. And you'll now, with your partner, push against each other. So I'll be pushing their arm and they'll be meeting the force. And then from there, you will then lift a leg, both of you, to integrate the floor to that push pattern. Yeah? Hold that for five to ten seconds. Okay? Then stop and repeat and perform on the other foot. Now, this starts to challenge your uh, balance mechanism. You also find that if you are able to meet each other's force, that core activation might translate into uh, better stability on the ground as well. But it, tra it trains, trains that whole chain of activity uh, when we're actually playing a sport. You've got to remember that much of tennis is played with our weight loaded on one leg more than the other. Sometimes our weight on one leg uh, completely. So again, it transfers into the real game.